Microsoft Teams is a great platform to communicate and collaborate with your workmates. If you're one of Microsoft Teams' 145 million users, then here's a few tips and tricks to fully take advantage of the platform's features. Number 1. Change your background Whenever there's an online video meeting, we can't help that sometimes there may be things going on in our homes. Luckily, you have the option to blur out or put an image as your background. You have two ways to change your background through the Microsoft Teams application from your computer or laptop. You can change the background while you're waiting for the meeting to start. Make sure your camera is enabled, then click on Background Filters, just underneath the preview for your camera. You have the option to either blur your background, or choose an image from the preloaded ones, or upload your own. If you're already in a meeting, simply click on the three dots to open the menu, then select Apply Background Filter. Now you don't have to worry about your work or classmates seeing your real background. Number 2. Use the Immersive Reader You can use the Immersive Reader function by navigating to a message in a channel, chat, or assignment. Next, hover your cursor until you see the three dots, then click on Immersive Reader. If you're on an assignment, you should click the book and speaker icon. Once you click Immersive Reader, Teams will go full screen and you can press the play button to hear the message read to you out loud. You can also choose to change the fonts, text size, and more. This is especially helpful when reading long messages or assignments. Number 3. Pin Chats or Posts If you have a lot of chats, then you may want to pin chat conversations so you can easily see them. To do so, simply hover your cursor on a chat conversation, then click the three dots. Next, click Pin. You can also do the same to posts in a channel so that you can easily see them. Hover on a post, click the three dots, then click Pin. Now you can pin important posts for everyone to see. Number 4. Mark messages as unread to check them later. To do this, hover your cursor on a post in the channel or chat message, then click on the three dots. Next, select Mark as unread. This way, you can check the message or post later when you have free time. Number 5. Using the translation option Language barriers might get in the way of a smooth conversation, but luckily, Microsoft Teams actually has a translate message option. Hover your cursor over the message, then click on the three dots, then select translate. You can also use this feature on posts on your channels. Number 6. Mark your messages as important before sending. If you're sending an urgent message, then you can mark it as important by clicking on the exclamation mark icon on the field where you're typing your message. You can choose the standard, important, or urgent, and your recipients will be notified depending on which option you choose. Number 7. Post your message to multiple channels. If you have a message that you want to send to many channels at once, then you can try cross-posting it. To do this, Type in your message first in any channel you'd like, then select Format or the Pencil and Book icon. Next, choose whether you want to post it as a new message or an announcement. Then click Post in Multiple Channels and select the channels you want to send it to. Remember that you have to be a member of that channel to post your message. Before posting your message, click Update and choose whether everyone can reply or only moderators. Once you're done, confirm your selection. Now your post will appear on multiple channels. Number 8. Use the Saved Message function If you see an important message or post, you can save them to easily access them by hovering your cursor over the post or message, then click the three dots, and select Save This Message. You can easily access all your saved messages by clicking on your icon at the top, then clicking on Saved. Number 9. Customize your notifications if you're tired of being notified by every new activity on each of the channels you're a member of, then you can modify your notification settings according to your preference. To do this, simply click on the three dots besides your profile picture on the top right-hand part of your screen, then click on Settings. Next, go to Notifications. Then on the Teams and Channels section, select Custom and adjust the notifications according to your preference. And number 10, the last tip, learn your keyboard shortcuts. It comes in handy to easily trigger any function you want. 
you can access the full commands list by pressing Ctrl and the period key on your keyboard. But here are a few shortcuts that you might need. To toggle your video, press Ctrl, Shift, and O on your keyboard. With this, you can immediately turn your camera on or off. To mute or unmute yourself, you can use the shortcut Ctrl, Shift, and M. To raise or lower your hand, you can press Ctrl, Shift, and K. Finally, to immediately blur your background in a video call, you can press Ctrl, Shift, and P on your keyboard. There are many other keyboard shortcuts that you might want to learn. There you have it. Now you can use Microsoft Teams like a pro. Thanks for watching, and make sure to click like and subscribe to watch more guides about all sorts of technology. Also, check out these other videos that we think you'll find helpful.